Hey guys, this is Dr. Padgett, and I'm going to do a little video showing you um, how to find different lines or brands to use um, for your Chapter 4 assignment. So, um, one thing you can do is you'll go to the Dallas Market Center, and from there you go to the exhibitor directory and then you can actually get into categories and lines and from there you can choose a category and let me just kind of show you how to find some information so say I'm going to do a um, battle gown store so we're going to go down and you can actually choose battle party or bridal services. So we're going to choose bridal party. And then we're going to choose search. And it lists it down below you. And then we're going to cl click on this um, manufacturer. And it's called blush palm which is under the Alexia brand and so it does show you some featured products but that's all the information that you that you really get from it but if you will go to their website you can get a lot more information so let me show you where to go look so here's their website and you can actually they do wedding dresses so if you wanted to look at wedding dresses you could look up wedding dresses so you go to their website and one thing I noticed that you can do is oh, this is how I got to it last time you can all go down here and look they have their size chart so that is going to tell you for their each of their brands, their size chart that they have, what sizes they run. So they run a 0 to 26, little girls 2 to 14, juniors 4 to 16, and adults 2 to 28. Um, so you could list all of that out. Then you also can find, another good thing is to, you can go to their store locator. And then that will um, bring you to stores in the area. So I just put in Texas and searched. And it brings up a retailer that sells their items. Then what you could do is go to their collections and then look for that specific brand that you had and then see if they offer brand that you had found the pearl brand and from there you would go or Alexa brand and you would look for pricing from there another thing too is um, sometimes they'll also you could go to frequently asked questions and see if there's any information here But that's where you can get some basic information. So from their website, we were able to get size. Then we were also able to get um, retailer information so then we could get pricing. And one thing you can do on pricing is if you find the price of an item, then, um, and sometimes on wedding dresses, they won't list prices, but you could always call that store and say, I'm looking at this brand, what is the price range? And then you would get could get price ranges. And then what I would do for your cost is just do half of what the price was for your cost. Or figure up whatever your markup is going to be. And then take whatever that price is based on what you want to do for your markup. And then that will give you the cost of your dress, of your um, item. Side and they don't show you items. You could also, if you go find it at the retailer, it will usually give you colors and sizes there too. If you go look for a retailer. So let's look up another form of a vendor. So say you wanted to look up children's apparel.
So then from here you could go find their information, it lists all their product lines that they carry, and then they do have a website. And so from here you can look, say we wanted to look specifically at the baby knee. So this brings up baby knee. We should be able to look at their collections. Also another good one to look at is their lookbooks. Oh, uh, this one has a password to it, though. But they also have a store locator. So you could always find a store, and a lot of these have online. You could look up what they have for their line that they're carrying now for Baby Nay for prices. Um, let's, if you want to do extra work, you can even contact them and see if they'll give you some basic information. Um, tell them that you're doing a project for school, you're in college, and you just want to know basics of like price range and all of that, and um, can get information that way. You could even try to get in through having put in your business name and say that you're going to have a storefront and submit that and see if someone will call you back too and then you could even get um, information that way too. So there's a basic way to kind of use the Dallas Market Center to find different um, lines or brands that you want to use and find information on them.